Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a zebra cake. The zebra print is on the inside of the cake and the outside. It's super fun. Let's get started. To make the zebra cake, we're going to use two cups of granulated sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, four eggs, one cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, and we're going to be using white coloring, deep pink, and super black Americolor gels. And it will also go with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then for decorating, we're going to be using white buttercream, black fondant, and pink buttercream. So to start off, I have my flour in my stand mixing bowl and I'm going to put in the sugar and the baking powder and salt. I'm gonna let that mix up for about 30 seconds on low. Next, I'm going to add in my oil while it's mixing and my eggs one at a time. When that started to incorporate, I'm going to pour in my vanilla next and then my milk and I'm going to turn the mixer on and do both of those. So you want to mix this until it is all completely combined and I'll be back to show you the next step after that. So I've divided my batters up for coloring and in this bowl I have about half of the actual mixture and in these two there's the other half so this is a quarter and this is a quarter of the mixture because you're not going to need as much black and pink as you will the white. So I'm just taking my white coloring and I'm going to add it to my batter and I'm going to stir it up and then I'll do the exact same thing with the pink and the black and once they're all mixed I will be back. So I have my eight inch cake pan here ready to go and I'm going to use my big scoop to take a scoop of the white and it's going right into the center. Then right on top of that, I'm going, I'm using a medium scoop for my black and I'm going to put that right on top of the white. You can see they'll, see they'll start to push each other out. And then because my pink one is really small, I'm going to do two of those on top of each other like that and now I'm just going to repeat it so obviously this will be enough for two of these eight inch round pans and so you'll need to do this use up half your batter for this first pan and then repeat again with your second pan so I'm just going to keep following this pattern and then I'm going to pop the cakes into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes and then I'm going to let them cool and I'll be back to show you the next step. So the cakes are cooled and I've leveled off the tops and now I'm going to take my white buttercream and I'm going to fill it into the middle and then I'm going to go around the outside and give it a nice good coat in order for the fondant to be able to sit on top of the buttercream. So it's going to get going on this, put on the top and cover. So when I'm finished covering, I'll be back to show you how to put on the fondant zebra stripes. So I will see you then. So I have the cake covered in buttercream now and I'm going to show you the last two steps. So I'm going to, I've just rolled out my black fondant and I'm just cutting off a little piece which will be the end there. And then just to cut the stripes, you can just cut like any sort of random shape here. And then you take it up and then just line up the bottom and then go up and over the cake like that. And then just keep cutting any sort of shape that you want to have for your zebra stripes. And then what I found was the best thing was to follow your pattern. So anytime your lines um, turn, you want to make sure the lines around it turn as well. It just gives it a little bit more of a natural look to the zebra. So we'll do one more. 
And then I'm just going to show you the final, like how to do the border with the pink buttercream. And then I'll be back to show you the whole cake. So I'm just taking my pink buttercream with a number 12 Wilton tip and I'm just squeezing and making a little dot and releasing. So I'm just going to go around the cake once I got all the stripes and just make those little dots on the border. So when I'm finished, I'll be back to show you the completed cake. So there you go everybody, how to make a zebra cake. So I've sliced up a piece here and you can see the pink just popping right out in the contrast with the black and the white. It looks so cool. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and you can find us on all of our social media sites which we put in the description box below the video. So thanks again and see you next time.